Finally tonight, we have the privilege of having some Valpo International students join us today. T, our international student focus group, will be discussing their experience here at the university. I'm Lindsay from SALT and the subgroup of SALT, T, which stands for Together Experiencing America. Um, and this is my comrade. Yep, uh, I'm Andrew Denneke. I'm also part of T. Uh, I'm a freshman and we're going to be uh, talking with some international students tonight and find out uh, what they thought about coming to America and uh, if that was true, if it wasn't, and uh, how they're liking it here. All right, so do you guys want to start by introducing yourselves and telling us where you're from and telling us where or what you're majoring in? Hi everybody, I'm Elise. I come from France, on the west coast of France, it's called La Rochelle, and I'm studying international business here. Hi, I'm Simon, I come from France too, same city as another, but I'm majoring in engineering. Hi, my name is Ariana, I'm coming from Paris, from uh, Sergi more precisely, and I'm studying business administration. Alright, cool. Um, so, before coming to America, can you kind of give us an idea of what you were thinking America would be like before you got here. I want to start. <laughs> okay. Maybe it is? Okay, I'm stuck. Okay, uh, <coughs> hamburger, fries, <laughs> shoulder, basketball game, football game. So we have like a big idea, like mostly from the movies that we watch, yeah. that's coming from what she say, cheerleaders, <laughs> everything. So we have a big idea that it's going to be like party every day. Mostly. Fraternity, we have no fraternity in France, so like, we're yeah, about fraternity. Yeah, doesn't exist. Children, we have no children in France ever. No, yeah. and sports in France, it's not like that. It's not that like, yeah, yeah. in school, like, it's not, not very doesn't like. Doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. no, okay. Not the same thing. No so campus. Like. No so campus, yeah. Yeah. Just Tell them a little bit about that, like how our idea of a college campus is different than for you, it's a community. Mm -hmm. Like you have T-shirt with the name of the campus. Like when people talk, like it's like, oh, we are part of a community all mm -hmm. together. In France, it's very different. Like you go to the university just for studying, and after you live in your own apartment and you have a private life, which is totally different from your campus life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like it's very separate. <coughs> okay. Well, yeah. yeah. In France, campus are really not like that. We have campus and university where you can study arts and stuff. And <laughs> if you want to study business or engineering, you have to go to school of engineering or school of business. Okay. So it's not, it's not on campus. It's just a school outside. So there's a small community for engineering like me, business like okay. me. Okay, so it's but more specialized. Yeah, it's more okay. specialized. We don't have huge community like 2,000 people. It's not like that. Okay. Ariana, you yeah. got anything? Like from Sergi, like it's mostly like the campus is divided from if you study uh, science, it will be in one place. If you study mathematics, it will be in one place. So uh, all the buildings are, are divided in uh, like from all the in all the city. Like you don't have like like everything in one place. Okay. And we don't have like the dorms as you because we like most of the time we live like you say in apartment or we going like directly to your to our home like because we we live like very closely to our place that's why okay. most of the time okay so it's more independent yeah also. it's more independent yeah. okay interesting um go ahead Do and there is no fraternity no fraternity <laughs> 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 so no fraternity no, no but I mean no sorority it's yeah. a big cliche for us and when I came here I didn't expect to see like cheerleader fraternity <laughs> Football game? Not really. Yeah. I was thinking it was only in the American movie. So the first time I saw it, I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I know that like the movies were like very the like maybe like, like you said. Like, I th I thought it was fake too. But when I <laughs> I, I thought it's it was fake. fake. Like maybe not saying fake that it was not irreal. That it was irreal. Like that it was not true. Like saying that. Uh, you were doing like crazy stuff or <coughs> like the fraternity <laughs> and all this stuff. And then I came, I, I told my friend, and I, I was like, what you see in movie, it's true. Yeah. So <laughs> they were like, really? Yeah. That's right. That's true. American yeah. pie is true. I mean, American yeah. pie is <laughs> <That's> pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been experiencing this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. Where did so you I go? <laughs> Where did you go to do that? <laughs> what? I'd like to know. I just watched, you know, I didn't experience it. American pie. <laughs> okay. Okay. What were you most excited about coming to this country? And 
were your expectations fulfilled or met, or was it kind of a letdown? Right. Um, should I start? Yeah. yeah. So uh, my big um, studying in America was li like one of my dream, like because like when you study in America, for me because I study languages in France, so um, like to, like studying abroad was was one of my main goal mm. and like doing it in America is like what can I say it's one of the proudest thing I can do for my parents and for my family so like kind of saying that everybody will be jealous because <laughs> everybody wants to go to America everybody thinks that's the biggest thing you can do in your life like, wow. when you say I'm going to study to America everybody will be really wow that's why mm. yeah it's, it's really like that I've been proposed to, no, not proposed, that's not the right word. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but just there was an oppor opportunity to come to America studying, so I just say, yes, this is now or never, so do it. Okay. And I'm glad I've done it, really. It's really fun, and if I have to do it again, I'll do it again. Okay. Yeah. Really. Me, I was supposed to go to Mexico. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm, I was lost. So I, no, I'm, I'm joking. One of my teacher, no, one of my teachers said to me that uh, for like for my study, it was mm -hmm. it was better to come here because you have very good quality classes. Like I mean, it's intense, but it's very good. Like I like the classes here. Like the level of classes is very good. I think in America. So she said me. She said to me, okay, you have to experience it. Like it's a good background to go to America and experience it. So at the beginning, I didn't want it really to come, okay. but finally, I'm really happy to be here because it's very good. Like when you do events here, it's huge. Like it's huge thing. Like I don't know how to explain it, but the campus, it's a huge thing. And the library, we are talking about this. It's a huge library, everything. So no, like it's a very good experience, I think. I'm good. Yeah, same um, big. Big. Yeah, I will add one more thing about okay. like, because when you study in America, if you put it on your CV that you study in America, in CV, France, tell them what a CV yeah, is. So it will be like it's the resume. resume. Like the resume, resume yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this. No, oh, you, you don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> so the resume, your resume will be on top of everybody because of that. Because going yeah. to study in America is. Well, how can I say that? It's. You understand better about yeah. the country, about the culture. And America, it's a huge country, like for for economy, for business, for trade, and so it's very important, I think, to have exper to have an experience in this country and to better understand the American, like, it's for your future <laughs> job, too. <laughs> 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 okay, so if you're, s um, all right, well, I think we got to wrap it up, but what's one thing you're going to take back to France? Any words you've learned, any things you've learned? Cheerleader. Cheerleader. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, great. Let me think. Ah, that's a good question. All right, well, you, you think about it, and we'll get back to you. Me? Come on, One thing? Yeah, one thing. Cookies. Cookies. <laughs> we got two yeah, liter cookies, right. and he's cookies. still thinking. Um, but yeah, cookies. <laughs> Find your wine. Find All right. Is good. But I think we got to go, so Simon will just have to keep us in suspense. So <laughs> yeah, everybody that's say bye. I'm oh terrified. Bye. 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 That's all we have for tonight, and I want to thank Jonathan Wilson Hartgrove and all the focus me group members that made this possible. If you want to learn more about SALT, check us out at our website at www.valpo.edu slash chapel slash SALT. Thank you for joining us this evening to learn that the Social Action Leadership Team is definitely more than just a grain of salt. Mm -hmm.